Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and the flight briefing room. Today is a very special episode. I've got my Flylight t-shirt on which could only mean one thing. It's the first episode of my Paramotor to PB journey. I have to say a really big thank you to Jim Greenshields of Somerset Microlights who actually agreed to let me vlog all of my lessons. The aircraft I'm learning on is actually a bit bigger, a bit faster and certainly a bit heavier than the PB but it's the only aircraft I've got access to which will allow me to cover the syllabus. So anyway, let's leave the flight briefing room and I'll join you on my first lesson. Okay, uh, part brake on, so no part brake but foot covering. Yep, so that's your left foot. Yep, throttle is full and free on this one and full and free on the right hand side and clear. Choke is going to be on because it's cold. Fuel on, is that at the back? Uh, fuel's at that red tap at the back, it's, and it's on. in line. We don't normally switch it off. Okay, primed, don't need to prime it will, on. No, it'll be fine. Okay, um, area clear all around, facing in a safe direction which we've already set. Um, no one's around. All clear. All clear around. Uh, magneto's on. Okay, both switches back. Yep. Propeller clear and shout clear prop. Good, make sure your foot is not on the throttle. It is on the floor resting. Good. Clear prop. Uh, you'll need master key and then start a button. Okay, master's on. Okay, clear prop. Once it fires, just a little bit of throttle, hardly okay. anything. That's it. A little bit more throttle. No. Oh. A little bit more. There you go. Now the choke can go off. Choke is off. So that's the pre-start done, and then we're on to pre-takeoff at the holding point. Yeah, that's fine. With yeah, it? Just uh, try not to go on the real gravelly bit. Okay. A bit right, swing hard left now. Straight towards the fence. Now hard right. Good. When you think you're facing into wind, come to a stop. And wings can go level now. Brilliant. And then it's your pre takeoff checks. Okay. Pre takeoff. Uh, controls full and free. Yep, so that's making sure you've got full pitch movement, for bar forwards and backwards, and full roll control, uh, left to right. You'll, you may notice or will feel my knee get in the <laughs> way sometimes. That's yep, good. No restrictions there. Excellent, sounds good. Okay, helmet. Mine's on, latch is done up, yep. secure. Uh, harnesses, my, ha my harness is done, is yours secure? Yeah, I'm good. And uh, we've uh, confirmed there were no uh, hatches. Earlier. Instrumentations, altimeters reset, VSI is in the middle, uh, SB can't tell with no book and glass, uh, sufficient fuel, temperatures are rising, uh, RPMs are in the green, oil temperature is in the green and oil pressure is also in the green. Good. Uh, fuel is on, we've checked that before, sufficient yep. for flight, yes, trim is set for takeoff. Uh, right, so we need to adjust the trimmer, yep. uh, which is uh, down here by my uh, left knee. Which is that little silver switch? Oh yes. So that need that uh, switch needs to come up, and we want the light to be just above where it says take off. You can feel it pulling on you already. Yeah. That's nice. That'll do. Lovely. Wow. That's um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose you need that, do you? Yes, yeah, you need to slow it down because it's gonna it's gonna fly awfully fast if you have it on fast trim. Okay. So trim it um, at the top of takeoff for takeoff. So you have the button. <laughs> I've got the eject button now. <laughs> You have. I'll go underneath there. Okay. Just stick it on there. I'm just going to carry on trying to. Yeah, just have a good look round and uh, get yourself in a position where you can see what's going on. Right, I can't see anything. There's definitely nobody there, so you can line up on the runway. Okay. Lining up. Trying to remember to be smooth. Smooth's good. Got Papa Alpha taking off 2-2. Two -two. 
Okay, so the first thing to remember is the faster you go, the more sensitive that nose wheel steering becomes. Okay. We want to hold the no the bar neutral. Yeah, even though it's trying to pull forward. And gain a bit of speed before we start pushing it gently forwards. Okay. When the when the plane takes off, you just let the bar to the neutral position. Okay. You don't pull it in, you just let it come back to the neutral position. Okay. So we'll we'll prolong the takeoff by doing it all nice and slow. So a little bit of power now. That's good. That's nice. Good. A little bit more power. That's good. More power. See how sensitive that is? Yeah. There's full power now. Pushing forwards. Push, push, push. And relax. Not on the throttle though. Keep the throttle on. Throttle on. Throttle on. There you go. Just relax on the bar is what I'm saying. It's full throttle. Full power. Still got full power. Yep. Not quite. There you go. <laughs> nice and relaxed on that bar now. Little tiny movements to keep it straight. You don't need to use the pitch control at all at the moment. It's fine. There you go. Now you've just found out how heavy the bar is. <laughs> Very heavy. It's fine. Everything's good. Just keep it in a straight line. It's weird how you've kind of got a where you think it should be is not actually where it should be. As in, I want to go that way, but I've got to kind of look over there. Yep. Wow, that's heavy. Yes, it is. And it's, uh, you can see how delayed the roll control yeah. is, so you've got to try and think a few seconds ahead all the time. And now you see why, on all the videos, everyone's sort of dancing around the bar. Yeah. Right. But in reality, the more you leave it alone, probably the better it'll be. Yeah. Because it knows probably better than you do what to do. Yeah. Uh, so just leave it be most of the time. If you're not actually crashing, I would leave it alone. <laughs> I'm trying to feel more than do, if that makes sense. Yeah. We'll keep climbing. We're going to try and get into the smooth air if we yeah. can, because life's going to be a lot easier for us. The only trouble is if we keep going this way, we're going to interfere with Exeter, so we'll, yeah. we'll start a very shallow left turn.
the bar forwards and backwards is controlling your speed. Uh, but it's so pitch positive, you can see that if you let it go, uh, and then you accidentally push it forward, it's just going to come back to the original position yeah. again.
on yeah. one of these things, uh, what happens is the drag is above your head, so the drag will take over. Right. So when you throttle the engine back, it tends to pitch up slightly. Oh, okay. Uh, most pushers do. Um, I don't know whether your paraglider does, but um, uh, so what we want to do is, if you want to descend, we're actually going to lower the nose a little first, yeah. and then reduce the power, and that prevents that pitching up. Okay. We're going to pull that bar in about an inch and a half, reduce the power. So bar in, then power. That's good. Now let the bar back to the neutral position. And if you've done it right, the speed will remain constant. So in other words, you didn't get any speed lost by pitching upwards. Yeah. That's why you have to be very careful when you load to the ground with one of these, adding and taking the power off. Yeah. Because you get huge pitch changes. As well? Yeah, what we'll do now is a complete circle round. And okay. that'll put us nicely on a downwind leg joint. So we'll do a complete 360 before we uh, join the ATZ. Right. Don't assume anything. Because <laughs> I met some really stupid people up on Well, don't assume I know how to fly either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've seen all your antics, come on. There's, there's video evidence of that. Golf Whiskey Papa's joining Dan Windsor for uh, correction. Joining base for 2-2. Target height is um, 800 feet. So now you've got to keep your throttle setting constant. There you go. There you go. That just keep it constant now. Now if the nose rears up, you just need to pull it back down again and then relax. Yeah. And that's just because of all that rise again. So now we'll apply some power. A little bit of bar forwards just to bring the nose up. Now relax again. Now you're in level flight, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is all heat coming off the runway. Yeah. Bit more power. Very, very small power changes. Yeah, I was, uh, I was trying to squeeze it on rather than... Yeah, just pick something a long way ahead of you. Yeah, desperately trying to remember to relax my hands. Yeah, every now and then just, just take your hands off the bar. Yeah. You'll need to be able to do that because obviously you'll need to wave at people a lot, <laughs> so you've got to take your hands off the bar. And also, yeah, exactly. It's just turn around, it's just on a 180 just for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so 
goes straight towards the sock. And we're going to park up with the left wing low. That wind's picked up, but yeah. that's fine. Perfect there. Just hold, hang on there. There you go. Uh, so you can tie that wing up with the left wing slightly low there. Yeah. Hi everyone, and welcome back. That first lesson was absolutely amazing and I can't wait to have more lessons and eventually learn to fly my PB. It just feels so far away at the moment and so much to learn along the way. I can honestly say the hardest thing I've found about learning to fly a flex wing is all the controls are reversed compared to a conventional aircraft that I've flown before. Pushing forward is up, whereas pushing forward on an aircraft is down and I actually found myself pushing the bar the wrong way. But I'm sure Jim will soon beat that bad habit out of me in short order. I'm really, really looking forward to my next lesson and just trying to get this right and eventually fly my PB. So until next time, everyone, fly safe. Mm -hmm.